In our previous videos, we have discussed about the equations used to determine the bending strength of flame beam with their flame undergoing compressions. Such beam can exist in two conditions where the stress fault lies within the flank or it lies beyond the flank into the web. The equations has been discussed separately in the previous video. These videos give an overview in terms of the design of the flame beam by considering both situations. Normally, with a given load acting on the flank beam, we do not know that whether the stress fault actually falls within the flank or is exceeding the flank into the web. Therefore, we need to go through a checking process to determine whether the stress fault is within the flank. It can be done by checking the positions of the S whether it is less than the height of the flank or by checking the moment load in comparison to the moment load contributed by the entire flank. Either way will do for us to determine whether the stress fault is within the flank. However, to avoid confusions, we will focus our discussions on the height of the S. The S here is referring to the height of the stress plot. It is determined as a function of the lever arm and depth of the beam. The lever arm Z is determined from the standard equations for the lever arm. And the K here represents the moment divided by BF D square FCK. The BF here is referring to the width of the flank. The M here is referring to the moment load acting on the member. Substitute the relevant value, you will obtain the S here to be compared with the thickness of the flank. If your S here is less than the HF, that means the stress block is within the flank. The calculation step here is relatively easy. You just need to use the equations for the S for a typical rectangular beam. The moment here is referring to moment acting on the member, while the Z here is obtaining from the equations for the Z. However, if you find that your S is not smaller than your HF, that means the spread slope is going to be stretched into the web. With that, this stress plot diagram is applied. At this stage, you only know that the S is beyond the flank, but you do not know to which extent it reaches within the web. Therefore, you need to determine the positions of the S within the web. This can be done by using the equations to determine the moment of the flank beam. It is in the functions of FCF multiply Z1 plus SCW multiply Z2. The relevant equations are given here. The moment here is taken as the moment load acting on the member. With that, this entire equation will have only one unknown which is the SW. Solve the equations to obtain the SW. And by now, you should have already have the SW. Your next step is to determine the amount of reinforcement bar embedded within the section. Use the equations of static equilibrium. 
where FST it will be equals to FCF plus FCW as given in this equation. The equations for the forces are given here. The equations for the tension steel is given here. The entire equation here will have only one unknown which is AS. Solve the equation here, you will be able to determine the amount of reinforcement bar for the flame beam. It is noted that this equation is applicable for the flame beam which is singly reinforced. Due to the large area of the flame, compression reinforcement bar is normally not required.